Today, the Secretary of Veterans Affairs was in Spokane to talk about improving care for local veterans. Dennis McDonough was at Man Grants FVA Medical Center. Crime News Morgan Trow was at the meeting tonight and has more on what McDonough wants to improve. Morgan. McDonough heard from local veterans and VA employees on how decisions made at the national level impact veterans here in Spokane. The secretary took some time to answer some of my questions, including what the biggest problems plaguing the new VA health record system are. Thanks so much. Dennis McDonough says he came to Spokane today after Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers sent him a letter where she raised concerns about the electronic health record system, noting that her office was receiving an increasing number of complaints and pleas for help. In her letter, she wrote that veterans are not receiving their prescriptions, there is confusion with the new patient portal, and staff members want training on the new program. I asked the secretary what he's learned about the issues. He said there are a few major concerns so far. Productivity, what that means for access, what that means for um, the great professionals we have here and their morale, um, and then what uh, what has been the experience on training and uh, do we have to augment that in any way to ensure best possible outcome for our vets because that's at the end of the day what this is all about. When I asked him what he was most worried about and the aspect he knows he needs to fix, he told me the training, making sure the staff members understand the ins and outs of the system and can access everything they need to make veterans' lives easier. His review into the new health record system still has about two months left, but wants to assure veterans in Spokane that he is doing everything he can to keep everyone safe. Also, other related news, the Man Grand Staff Director says that unless they see another COVID-19 outbreak, the VA is fully expecting to open the doors to a 24-7 urgent care center by the end of this calendar year. So good news to look forward to. Reporting in the newsroom, Morgan Trow, Crem2 News.